We're going to find out what the deal is. Python hunter. Yeah, a python hunter. And she actually joins us right now. Amy Seaweed, good morning. Hi, Amy. Good morning. Hey, it's Bill and Jessica, Power 1017. How are you? I'm great. I'm great here in Florida, living the life. Wow. Well, look, we, we got a lot of questions for you, so buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. A lot, a lot of different things uh, we're trying to figure out here. So, first off, welcome to the show. You are a Everglades Python hunter, correct? That is correct. All right. So, tell us. Can you kind of like walk walk us through your life? Yeah. Like, how do you get into this as a profession? Yeah. Like, what what exactly do you do? I, I know that you know we've seen some of your videos that you make leather. You know, that's like an end game on, on some of this. But you know, you also do like I don't know. You it says you take people with you. You teach them how to do it. Like, tell us about it. Okay. Well, let me first start with the reason that we have to hunt the pythons is because they are invasive in Florida. So they're not supposed to be here. They're here because of the pet trade, and they're the apex predator. There's between 100 and 300,000 of them out there, and oh. they've eaten 98% of the mammals in parts of the Everglades. So they are a huge problem. So this is not just, you know, I'm not just hunting pythons for sport or anything like that. Like, this right. is a problem that we have to get rid of, right? Are, so there, other, are, are, that, are there other python hunters? There are. There are. The state actually has contracted um, 100 of them. I was one of those people for four years, and then just in January, I broke off, and I started my own guiding business. So now I take people out on hunts with me. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so go ahead. Yeah, so I got into this. Um, I've always been in the snakes since I was a little kid, and I you know, saw one, and I was fascinated with it, right? So they've always been a part of my world. Um, and then, But it's been a hobby, right? So when I learned about this problem in Florida... You know, I thought, wow, this is, you know, I can actually use this crazy passion that I have to make a difference and help help them with this colossal problem, you know, because I'm not afraid of them. I I know a lot about them, so I just thought I could make a difference. So that's that's why I'm here doing this. Even though I love snakes and I hate that we have to kill them. Right. You know, I have a tremendous respect for the python, but also for our ecosystem. So you said you were into snakes growing up. You always had like a pet snake or something, like as a kid? Um, oddly enough, no. My mom is definitely afraid of snakes. Oh, really? So oh, I wow. I'm never allowed to have them as pets, right? So I would just go out and catch them, you know, go creek walking and, you know, stuff like that in Ohio and, you know, just, you know, mess around. And that, so that's what I did. So then yeah. I get here and, oh, my gosh. Now I come across, you know, 15-foot python. It's crazy. That's a, that, that's like, wow. wow. Yeah. I, I mean, look, never... I, I will be 100% honest. Like, that life is not for me, and and, I, and I'm not. I ain't into all that. I, I look. I, I'm just gonna be honest with you. So that's why I'm like so fascinated. You know, when I see you know like these like you and like have to pick up a uh, python, and you got like three or four other people picking it up with you because you can't pick the whole thing up. Like, how heavy is like the 15 foot python? So, well, so here's an example. I caught a 17 footer that was 110 pounds. Wow. Right? I caught, well, she was 17.3. I caught her by myself. Friday, my friends caught a 17.2 that was 198 pounds, second heaviest yeah. in Florida history that they called me out to dispatch. So, you know, they, they really range, and it depends on, on what they're eating. And this one, of course, had deer hooves in its stomach, so it's been eating deer for quite a while. So it, it can be quite the challenge. These things get gigantic. Yeah, I, I mean, I see. So that, that's just incredible. So you hunt the pythons, you take people out on hunts with you. Um, they can either, I see here, they can either catch the pythons with you or just watch. Do most people like to like get involved? Yeah, so here's the funny thing. I get so many people that are, you know, because I, I will teach, I will show them what to do, you know, when we're going out there. So I'm not just like saying, oh, hey, go, ha go have fun. Good luck with that, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I'm walking them through the whole thing. But, you know, they'll get there, and I'm like, okay, so here's a python. And they're like, huh, okay, you go ahead and get this one. We'll get the next one. Right, yeah. right. Have you ever gotten bitten before? You, know. you ever gotten bitten? Um, yes. Yes. I've been bitten so many times. I mean, I don't recommend it. It's not the end of the world, but um, it bleeds a lot. That's the biggest pain. It just it bleeds all over. And, then, like, the first time, like, you got bit, or maybe even the second, have you ever been, like, I don't know about this life. No, no, that's easy. That's easy. It's, I mean, 
I have to give it to them. If they bite me, it's like, you know, I, I have to kill you. I don't have a choice. So you might as well fight back. And, you know, if you can get a good fight in, you know, before you go, that's, that's kind of cool. Hmm. <laughs> that wow. might be a weird way to look at it. Oh well, but I will tell you this. So I was bitten. I was bitten on the, on the hand by a 14-footer, right? So there's four of us trying to get this thing. And she, she was actually striking somebody behind me. So I stick my hand out in front to block, like, stupidly or instinctively, I don't know. And so she gets my hand, and they have two rows of teeth on their upper jaw. So I have this, you know, perfect outline of her jaw, and it is bleeding profusely, right? But I can't, we haven't caught the snake, so I need my hand. So by the end of it, I mean, there's blood all over the snake. There's blood all over me and everybody else. It looked like a murder scene. Wow. <laughs> so, <but> yeah. we <laughs> got her. It was good. Hey, if, if you could be here in it's, studio and see, if you could see Jessica's face right so now. wild. <laughs> this is just wild. Yeah. And, and are, are, are you married? You got kids like or anything? Superwoman. No, no kids. I've, I'm um, engaged right now. And he is a hunter and a fisherman. Not really into snakes until we... Uh, we, uh, so, so when he first moved here, he would drive me around, and I would catch the snakes. He didn't really want anything to do with it, right? That's fine. Um, and then we came across a 14-footer, another 14-footer, and I was like, I might need some help with this. So she kicked our butts all over the place. I mean, at the end of it, we were, like, the python was just laying there. I was laying on top of the python. Dave was leaning against the tree, and he was like, all right, this is kind of cool. I think I'm into this now, so... So, wow. yeah, so now, so now he uh, Python hunts with me. Oh my gosh! Now he does it with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Wow. I mean, is he doing it because he loves you? Is he doing it because he? Re- <laughs> <laughs> is he just trying to be a supportive? <laughs> a but um, I definitely, I got him hooked with that, with that, that fight with the fourteen footer, and we've had a ton of them, a lot of big ones since then. So it's, it's been pretty fun your website is pythonhuntress.com what can we find up on the website oh you're gonna um, find all kinds of pictures and and videos and all the information about the guided hunts you know um and i don't have a place to sign up on the website for the guided hunts because i want to talk to people about what to expect i think that's very important so i talk to them before they before they book with me and answer any questions and make sure that they they know what they're in for. How old do you have to be in order to go out with you on a hunt? Twelve is the minimum. minimum. Twelve? Oh. I thought you were going to say 18, 12. Wow. Nope. <laughs> oh, I have a lot of kids that, I mean, it, it is so cool. I get so many kids that want to go out and, yeah. you know, they're into snakes and stuff. And, you know, when we go on these hunts, we're, we're you know, capturing the pythons live, first of all. So we're not, like, shooting them. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have a bolt gun that I use. I don't even use, like, a regular gun. But, um you know, they, a lot of them really love snakes, and we see all kinds of other things when we're on these hunts. You know, it's just, it's a really good um, tour of, of the Everglades, really. And then once, okay, so you said you used to do, you used to make leather and do all that, but now you just go out on the hunt. So what do you, once you catch one, like a big one, then what do you do? Like, what, what's the next step? Well, I still do the leather. I still do the leather. So okay. once we catch the big one, um, you know, obviously we just touch it out there, and then if I'm on a guided hunt and they want the skin, then they can, you know, pay extra to have have it uh, skinned and tanned so they can display it on their wall. But if it's just one that I catch, then I'll take it home and I'll skin it and I'll, um, you know, take it to my professional tanner to have, have it made into leather so I can make products. And then you sell them? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Um, well, I mean, you have an interesting, uh, interesting career there. I mean, you know, I mean, you're in, you're in the right place for it down in Florida. Um, Amy Seawee, of course, uh, Florida Python Hunter, uh, check out the website, pythonhuntress.com. How about social media? You on social media? All over the Python Huntress on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Yeah. You- look me up because I've got, I, I post, um, you know, a lot of things on that, my, the day to day stuff. And I just have the. The craziest things happen to me, like just random things. So I, I post the hunts, I post the catches and, and the bites on there. So definitely follow me on that. Have you ever been approached by like a, a, a TV show or, or, you know, to do a TV show or something? You should. You should, you know, film. I have. I, I have. And the problem is all of these shows are so fake. They say they're reality, but they're not. Everything's made up and it's all planted. All the snakes are planted. So oh. if somebody wants to do, you know, a real deal on what's what's going on here and how we really hunt and i'm all in 
they should um you should do like something on your own and, and do like a youtube and do you know I, I mean i know that's a lot of work but i'm just saying like you could probably make just as much you money could do it on your own than doing it on your own than you could you know doing it for a network yeah i know i know and you're right about the time and the video editing and yep. me are not friends <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow so, that's incredible um, but no i mean if somebody wants to help me with it you know i'm all about that that's for sure pythonhuntress.com amy c we thank you so much for checking in and we learned a lot today yes we did yeah yeah thank you so much we appreciate it thanks for having me have a great day we're sending you to see the baltimore ravens take